Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode has this cool amazing part right here in my hand and basically what this is is a monitor light that's in use. So you can basically hang this onto like your computer or monitor or whatever and just shine the light directly down. But let's open up the product first to see what it actually looks like and what comes out the package first. All right, so when we first open it up, this is basically what it looks like inside. Let's take it out. So when we take it out, this is basically what it looks like right here. So it definitely has a very nice cushion to it. And when we open it up, this is basically what it looks like inside. It's very well protecting everything. So right here is the product right here. And right underneath that, they do provide us some more stuff right here. So when we open up this little component right here, they have the instruction manual right here to teach you guys how to use the product itself. And then right underneath that, we have the cable, which is um, USB to USB-C. So you guys will use this to activate it or charge it up. And that is basically everything that's in the packaging itself. Now let's take a look at the actual product itself right here. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like if you can see right here. So I believe these are the touch controls right here. So once you guys touch each one of these, it will activate whichever one you guys touch. So there's a power button, the brightness button, and then a temperature button here as well. And once you guys apply it on, you guys want to push this part like that and then clamp it into wherever it needs to. And also this part right here is adjustable as well. So I can adjust it to however you guys want to. And then right here, they do have the padding for the actual product itself. So that way it won't damage the product wherever you guys put this on. Same thing for this part as well. It has a little bit of cushion here as well, right behind it. You guys can't really see it. And then the back part right here, you can see that that is where to plug in the cable to charge it up and activate it. And then on the inside, you can see that that is basically what it looks like right there. So that's the LED light right there. And they do provide you guys some uh, warning labels here as well. So they mentioned that this product can only be powered by USB port or adapter in 5V to 1A. Otherwise, the circuit may be damaged. So make sure you guys are using the correct cable. So let's go activate this and see how it works. All right, so we got the cable right here. We're gonna plug it in right here. All right, so we have it in. Let's press the button right here. All right, so it turns on, turns off. You guys press the other buttons. So this is the first temperature, second temperature, and third temperature. So there's three different temperatures here. And if you guys press the other button right here, it will either decrease the brightness or it will increase it if you guys press it again. And you guys adjust it how you guys want to as well that I mentioned. You guys can push it down or push it up. And then also clamp it in place as well. Obviously, you probably don't want to use it on your phone, but you definitely can as well if you guys want to. So just like this, you guys can see it does work. And then you can adjust the lighting or however you guys want to as well. I definitely love how super easy it is to use the product itself and how portable it is. But then for the cable itself, you guys can see I'm using a power bank right now to activate it. If you guys want to, you guys can use a wall outlet as well. But you guys can basically use it anywhere you guys want to if you guys do use a power bank to activate it. And then the brightness level on here is actually pretty bright if you can see. But that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we could unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one or need warranties. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want one or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for quick unboxing and testing on the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video, then make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out and help this channel out as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.